Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey. I'm Holly. Back there's Tucker. Yep. That's me. And we are in the midst of a road trip in a road trip rig. We are in the 2024 Hyundai Palisade, the XRT trim. And in this video, we're going to tell you how this big three row fits our family of three on said road trip. Stay tuned. All right, Holly, I am looking at the odometer right now, which has got a wicked glare on it. 501 miles so far wicked. on this beast thus far. I have put a majority of those on because you are actually already at our destination. Mm -hmm. You're getting extended time on the way home in this. You got some time before we left, yada, 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 yada. all that fun stuff. Okay. We've had the Kia sibling to this in the Telluride. What are your initial impressions with the Palisade? I like it. My <laughs> initial... <laughs> you hesitated. I, you... I was like, uh... I thought you were going to make me choose, and oh, that's no. why I hesitated. Okay. But no. uh, I, I like it. Okay. I will say, we did have the top highest trim of the Telluride. Most luxurious. This is the XRT trim, which is the off-road trim but it's even less off-road than the hondas we just got out of in the trail sports so i'm just gonna say it's a dark appearance package because it blacked out everything up front um it also left out some of the luxuries that we had in the kia but you can get that on the palisade in the calligraphy trim it even has something in the calligraphy trim that the Telluride doesn't, that's a heated third row seat. So oh, nice. this can be outfitted. I know this can be fitted, outfitted very luxuriously. This is a mid range. Uh -huh. And I, I think it's probably the price we'll be shopping, but we're not there yet. So we're not there yet. No. All right. The exterior, like I said, it's a dark appearance package more than anything. What are your thoughts on the exterior looks of it? So I definitely like the upgrades in the design from the previous model. Um, the new design is a little bit more boxier, maybe a little bit more masculine, um, but there are some key interesting elements to it that make it not look like a refrigerator box, mm -hmm. um, that make it look more interesting and a little off-roady, like that's so popular right now to mm -hmm. look a little rugged. Um, one thing I like is the big chunky grill mm -hmm. uh, with the chunks at the front. I like that. I really like the dark tire, not tires, but the wheels, wheels. Yeah. Um, on this. I guess this is probably, that's probably for just this trim. Maybe. Yeah. I really love this color, whatever yeah. color it is. It's hard to describe. It's kind of like a gray green. Gray Let's see. Green, uh, steel green granite. Blue. Steel granite. I like it. I, see how I had to pull. Yeah. Pull my glasses off. I'm getting old. They're sunglasses. Old I had to see. But yeah. But yeah, so on the outside, I, I like that a lot. Uh, and I like the boxy style all the way to the back with the big opening. Got, got some curves back Get there. A little though. bit of curves. Yes, it's not all, I say boxy style, but it's not like it's a refrigerator like, yeah. box. Um, but you know, it kind of reminds me of the new Super. The that's pretty yeah, definitely. definitely. That brand new one that yeah. is kind of getting some flack for being a little. Oh, the Forester. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it kind of reminds me of that. So my thoughts on the styling of this is it came it's out prettier. Yes. <laughs> this came out when Hyundai was still being a little more conservative with their styling. I feel like they finally found their stride, and they're being bold. I.e., the new Santa Fe, the new Kona. Uh, I've seen renderings of what this is replacement is going to look like, and it's very bold. So I, I just feel like this is an old era of Hyundai that we're slowly ushering out for the bolder, boxier replacement. But I like it. I think it, is it works very nice. Is tiptoe into bolder? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I like it. All right. Moving inside. What are your thoughts on here? I like it. <laughs> okay. okay my initial thoughts on the inside is i like it now that we've lived in it and 
we traveled in it, and there are some things that I'm like, okay. Can I guess? Can huh? I guess? Can I guess? No, don't guess. Oh. No, go ahead, guess. What do you think? It's probably some of the same things that bug me a little. And one, I've already alluded to it once in this video, is the screen setup behind the steering wheel. That is straight out of a Kia Soul. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, get with this. Yes. <laughs> The Kia Soul that we had last week here on this channel had that exact same gauge cluster because okay. it's not a full digital gauge, but it's not, you don't get the gauges, the analog it's gauges. It's kind of small too. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but, so you get the small center screen that you can customize, but everything on the outside, it, it looks like a Casio watch. Like it's, yeah. yeah. It so it, it just doesn't go with the classy appeal mm -hmm. of this vehicle mm -hmm. again if you got the calligraphy full digital gauge mm -hmm. so. yeah um i don't love the got all the glossy yeah. black back here and then also while i like the look of this um air vent it looks oh. like the air vent goes the entire way yeah um it already looks dirty yeah and all that dust is getting yeah. right there in those cracks and they're big enough that you can see it and even like up here in these cracks. I hate when stuff gets in my big here. cracks. Oh. <laughs> you weren't funny. You weren't I was looking over here and said, give me a coffee cup and said, consider taking a break. <laughs> it's not under falling you. asleep. Yep. Anyways, but like even up here in this little yeah. crack, yeah. there's um dust bunnies up there. Which <laughs> I don't love. I mean that happens with cars anyways, but I feel like this is like accentuates it it gives yeah. it places yeah. to hide because there's that. this little thing right here and there's yep. this right there anytime you've got two panels not meeting flushly yeah you get yeah. that now this you wouldn't be able to see any um it's a different texture yes you wouldn't be able to see any dust on it there yeah there's some on the dashboard but you've noted that there's a glare Pretty especially, bad. Yeah, especially when you have this closed, yeah. you have the lid closed. It's a big, just glare. shiny glare right back at you, and yeah. it's not the best. Yeah. So that said, I'm loving this steering. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine, and there's like some handles right <laughs> here, but then your bottom handle, and it's soft. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a good steering. It's not too cushy, but it's soft. Yeah. What are your thoughts on like all the controls right here? I like how it's on a. It, it's very, incline, yeah, yeah, very easy to it's reach. It's been easy, yeah, it's been easy to use, even though it is a little bit different than how it normally is. I do like it being right here on an incline where you're not having to like rest your hand, and, although you do. Yeah. Yeah, but. And then we have tri-zone climate, which is coming handy because Tucker's love either that. been too hot or too cold. Ceiling vents, love ceiling love vents. Ceiling vents. So we've got that. Lots of different drive modes here. Smart, sport, comfort, eco, and snow with a all-wheel drive lock. We've already pushed the engine start, stop, defeat button. Okay, yeah. We've got that 3.8 liter V6 in this. Perhaps the last V6 that we'll see in a while in a Hyundai product, but um, all-wheel drive. Mm -hmm. Heated. And the shades in the back seat. Yes. Don't forget those. Yes. Heated front seats, not ventilated. Again, if we had the calligraphy, I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, if we had one of these, if we bought one of these, get the calligraphy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, heated front seats. Uh, quick quiz: leather, not leather. Not leather. Correct. It's their Syntex, HTEX is what they call it. Everybody's got a funny able name. To tell, though, and I yeah. like the design better. Yeah. They've got a fun design. And like they mix it up here on the backrest. Another downside about the seats, especially compared to the vehicle we just got out of in the Honda Passport, mm -hmm. no, no memory. memory seats. I know that is disappointing. But an upside of the seats, there are a lot of um, options for comfort. Yeah. So there's the lumbar. There's the seat. Obviously, can go up and down, but hey, yeah. also, I've yeah, got, and you've got it too. I've got lumbar too. Um, and, the, and it's power too, mm -hmm. but there's also that the um, notch to make the front part of the seat go up and yeah. down to support the back of your legs a little bit more, which I yeah. did, um, and I like that. So, but you'd have to reset all of those amazing settings every day. Every. So when I get back in to finish 
this leg of the drive home, I'm gonna mess up everything that you've perfected yeah. over there. Uh, tilt telescoping steering wheel. Yeah, while you're like that. while you're um, at that. Tilt <laughs> telescoping. Don't do it while you're driving. I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> I was not doing it while you're. I was driving. So yeah, back seat back there. Tucker, how you doing? Good. How's the ride back there for you? Is it's it comfortable? Good. Yeah. You got a lot of leg room. No. No. What? Lies you tell. Um, you also have sliding seats over there, which now that we're talking to Tucker is a good segue to putting in his child safety seat, not only where he is now, but yes, I put it in the way back too. Okay. So putting Tucker's child safety seat back here in the second and third row, because yes, we're going to do all the seats of the Hyundai Palisade XRT. There's a lot I have to talk about before I even bring the seat in. First of all, sliding second row seats, which I like reclining second row seats with I like armrest which I like and a very nice texture back here as well we have ceiling mounted vents which very nice especially for hot east texas summers when he was rearward facing he was like getting no air from air on the back of the center console so that is a very nice touch we do have a little bit of storage here on a little net on the side of the seat as well as the mat pocket back here two cup holders in the door bottle holder down here sunshades built in which i like this is a must for family vehicles so i don't know why more don't do it now this being the largest crossover from hyundai you would imagine we'd have pretty good space in here for putting tucker's child seat in reverse uh, rearward facing so let's go ahead and do that this is his same graco extendifit child seat that he rode in when he was rearward facing and yeah looky there fits in here with room to spare from where i was sitting so yeah huge kudos to the huge palisade really like that a lot but we'll go ahead spin this around and lift up the headrest find my top tether drop that down we do have lower latch points and top tethers on both of these captain seats here in the middle and let's see okay fairly easy to get to lower latch points because they are wedged in between the seat back and seat bottom uh, we will go ahead and tighten this down here let's see that's good and snug Make sure we got that good. Tighten that up. And then my favorite thing about sliding second row seats is now I can get to the top tether without ever having to leave the side of the vehicle and tighten this down. And from the looks of it, uh, I don't believe we're gonna be doing any long-term damage uh, to the seat back itself because it is a nice hard corner up here uh, as we tighten that down. Now, unfortunately, my not so favorite thing about these second row seats is there's a button here to access the third row that does nothing with a child seat fixed in place because it folds the seat back forward and then releases the seat to scoop forward so if you wanted to climb in the back seat with the child seat in place well you're going to be doing it that either behind the seat there or you can crawl in and through the middle to get back Woo! To the back seat. Now, let's put Tucker's shell seat back here. All right, putting it back here in the third row seat, I will go ahead and note, this is a 60-40, 60-40 split bench third row seat. That does, I'll go ahead and climb in here and show you. Actually, reclines, if I can get the strap just right, there we go reclines a decent amount so it makes a comfortable seating position you can see my knees uh, are up a little higher the floor actually goes up going to these second row seats so you have more vertical leg room in that second row but it's a decent third row seat but i'm going to go ahead and bring this back into a more upright position uh, to put tucker's child safety seat back here another thing i really like that hyundai does whoo as I back out back here, is they put little clips here at all four seating positions uh, for the seat belt to be tucked out of the way. So for getting in and out of the back seat, or if you're not using the third row seats, you can see we've got the seat belts uh, tagged away, tucked away back there. But let's see, 
getting the child seat in through the doors and back to the back. Just kind of got to throw it in there, but we'll drop his top tether because these headrests fold down. They don't raise and lower. So you got a little tiny gap that you're going to have to work with back here. There we go. <laughs> and they only put the latch points here on the driver's side, which is also the 60%, which is also not my favorite. <laughs> you do have top tethers all the way across, but you're gonna be doing that seat belt method using the seat belt to secure uh, the seat bottom into place uh, if you put the car seat anywhere but right here. As we tighten this down, make sure and get it good and snug. Room back here is plentiful for this process, but you can see, gotta make sure we got it just at the right angle. And there you go. Fairly easy to get back here. But now let's go back to the back, talk about cargo space, and put that top tether on back here because, yeah, we have to go to the back for that. Okay, talking about the rear cargo compartment, I start out so far back because this has the smart lift gate feature where you can just have the proximity key in your pocket and it's, there we go, <laughs> didn't really beep that audibly. You have the smart key in your pocket, your person, wherever, and you can walk up behind the vehicle. It should beep more audibly than it did a few times to let you know it's about to open, and then it does open. So no j dancing or gyrating back here uh, to get into the back seat or the back hatch if your hands are full. Now, as we get to the backs of the seats, I did say top tethers all the way across. I was incorrect. It is only on the 60%. You can see we just have a bag hook here. That's what I get for looking very quickly before hitting the record button. And as we secure this tether into place, may have been a better idea to not go around uh, the headrest there. Uh, could have gone over here because of just how far outset it is from the seating situation itself. But again, just like on the second row seats, you can see we have a nice firm back right there. It is a little more squishy on this side. So we're not really gonna be doing any long-term damage. I'll tighten that down with two hands here in just a moment. Other uh, storage things back here, we do have some under floor storage back here, which is rather nice. But interestingly enough, they put this little hook back here uh, that typically is meant for like grabbing onto the side of the vehicle, but you can't do that. So I'm guessing you just gotta do it right there uh, behind the headrest so you can get in back here. That is where your jack is. Uh, we have a, a loose uh, front bracket for a um, license plate. And if we had the cargo shade, you would see that stores in here as well. Just a few things, but you can store like a large backpack or a small carry-on back here. No problem whatsoever. And then it is just concealed and hidden under the floor. Again, this being a 60-40 split bench seat. Uh, it is a manually folding uh, seat back, which is very nice. It folds down very quickly. You can see, as long as you don't do what I just did, uh, that strap is very easy to get a hold of uh, when you need to pull it back up. Again, I told you about the seat belts. I really like how those tuck away. And then we do have these power release buttons right here. I'm going to go ahead and show you the right seat. That does fold the second row seat completely flat. So you can see tons of cargo space in here when you need it, which is very nice in a big three row SUV like this. Coming to me, I'm 5'10". This is how much room I have under the hatch. No problem there. That is where the button is to close it. And that is a quick tour of child seat insulation and storage space. Back to Holly. Any more thoughts from you back there, Tucker? No. Nope. Yeah. Do you like the shades in the window? Mm -hmm. uh, you never like putting them up anyway, right? Yeah. But we've uh, got a couple cup holders in the door back there. He's got air vent controls back here. Something I really like um, back there as well is in the floorboard where you put your feet, mm -hmm. there's little hard places to step. Yeah. So um uh, that would be like probably a high use area especially climbing into protected. the third row yeah so yeah it's not just there on the second row but there's kind of like a little step up for the third row too that's got that hard plate so i noticed that and i i really like that to protect those yep. areas of the back seat and then unlike the santa fe that i referenced earlier that i've gotten to drive we haven't gotten to test for our family yet coming 
Um, that was a two plus two plus two all the way back. This is actually a three person third row seat. Though, uh, questionable third, how big the third person is. Like there's a seat belt back there, but I don't know. I don't know. We know some small <laughs> Yeah. And small people would like to ride back there. This is the biggest vehicle uh, that they offer. I would say it would compete very strongly against the Grand Highlander. Yeah. So, but yeah. Uh, storage. We haven't talked storage. We talked a little bit in the way back after putting in his child safety seat. There's hidden storage underneath the back. Uh, yeah. We're on a road trip. All of our luggage is actually behind the third row. We actually yeah. packed two separate suitcases because mm -hmm. we both. left at two separate times. Okay. Yeah, and they and they both fit. Yeah. Um, and then if you lay the seats down, which was super simple to do, yeah. Um, you get you get even more space back there as well. So she is mad at you. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, all around pretty comfortable. What about storage up here? We haven't even like there's yeah, there this. Yeah, lots of storage. We've got a Qi wireless charger here, USB A, wired only Apple CarPlay. Boo. Yeah, I don't like that. But, but I do like the cup holders go in and out. Yeah. So on this road trip, we've used this as a big open space and we've also used it. And you can hide it because you didn't like the big open space in some of the Kia products that you can I open. Like that you can yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then tons of space down here. Your uh, sweater is currently down here. Yes. It's yeah. trying to be sweater weather. Sweater weather. It's, yeah, it's. <laughs> it, at some hours of the day, it's sweater weather. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, I love those little pass through. And then huge handhold cubby on the doors, bottle storage down a, here. It's got a little plastic thing yeah. that's not going to make a lot of noise in there. And then you got a big old Sir. center console with a little shelf. That is big that enough is for Tucker's tablet. So that's nice. Um, fire tablet if you're interested. But yeah, all around, pretty good. Not sponsored. Good sized glove box right here. Not damped, dropping right on my knees. Well, it is damped, sort of, barely. Not felt lined. <laughs> Any other thoughts from anyone else in the vehicle other than me? <laughs> I have my own video on this one, so. <laughs> you have your own video on all of them? Yes, yes. Okay. No, I'm good. What's the um, fuel, economy? fuel economy? So I did mention naturally aspirated v6 under the hood they're really going heavy into turbo fours that's what the santa fe has got uh but rated at 19 city 24 highway 21 combined again 519 almost 520 miles mostly highway but there has been some school pickup lines in that various different things 23.2 so it's actually getting pretty close to uh what the window sticker is here oh there you go Yep, yep, yep. And that's not bad, 22.2. Yeah, especially We're considering... We're three-row. Yes, we just got out of the two-row Honda Passport Trail Sport, which competes with this. 3.5 liter V6, same fuel economy numbers. Mm. So, care to guess, window sticker. 47. Pretty darn close, but you overshot it. 45, oh. 100. Nice. So, it is bigger and cheaper than that Honda Pilot that yeah. we were in. I think that's a great price well, for this. Right at the same. Yeah. Yeah. It really is, like I said. So how much is this calligraphy? Uh, that, that is talking about? Uh, flirting just north of 50,000 for a fully loaded calligraphy. That's what I was thinking. So. Okay. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, and I mentioned the school pickup line. This registered very well with the teachers at the school oh, pickup yes. line. They said, uh, I think this is the best one that you've ever brought through here. Yeah. So, yeah. Very, very well regarded vehicle. It looks very good inside now. It's been very comfortable. We haven't even talked about the bolstering on these seats. They hug Oh, you. yeah. They're nice, yeah. too. Seat bottom I, is a little... Very, it's a little... It's yeah. a, I wish it was a little bit softer, the yeah. whole seat. But... Yes, the hugging wrapped me up in a warm hug as I took a nap yep. on our road trip. And on that note, <laughs> if you want to see some more stuff from us, some behind the scenes stuff, Holly loading our luggage in the back, uh, go find her on Facebook and Instagram at Female Consumer. You can find all things GT Garage Talk at GT Garage Talk, Facebook, Instagram, X, TikTok, Threads, YouTube, 
you name it, at GT Garage Talk, or you can go to gtgaragetalk.com. But as for us, sun's going down, getting right in the camera lens right now. Uh, we are gonna finish out this road trip, get home, get ready for the solar eclipse that's coming up. How was it, future us? Was it cool? I don't know. Until next time, gearheads. Bye. Would you like to keep this one? What? This car? You like it enough? Yeah, yeah. I want to keep it forever. Yeah. Forever. Pretty cool. Forever. 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 Forever.